On January 28th, 2017, at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Dayan Zlatichanin defends his WBC lightweight title against former pound-for-pound -pound star Mikey Garcia. This is Zlatichanin's first defense of the vacant WBC title that he won in June of last year against Franklin Mamani. I recently caught up with Dayan just weeks before his huge class against Garcia and got some of his thoughts on the fight of his career. I asked Dayan how his life has changed since winning the WBC title in June of last year. And his response was, the only thing that changed is that I have succeeded in becoming the second person from former Yugoslavia to win the championship. Everything else remained the same besides the fact that the title made me the world champion. In the past, I've received various acknowledgements, but some of them were more significant to me personally. For example, I've had postal stamps issued with my character and received Best Athlete Awards from the town of Podgorica and Sports Journalists Association of Montenegro in 2016. However, the recognition of being the best in Montenegro never came from the Montenegrin Olympic Committee. The committee claimed that current regulations did not allow them to award the Best Athlete Award to a professional boxer. About a year and a half ago, while Zlatichanin was still on the rise and on the verge of breaking through to the American market, he told me that he wanted to make a strong and lasting impression for the American audience. After having his first fight on American soil in Alabama, he is now defending his title on the biggest stage in boxing at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Like many other fighters, Dayan has worked his way to the top through hard work and capitalizing on the few opportunities he's been handed. I wanted to know just how bad he would like to successfully defend his title January 28th, and he assured me that he's not just showing up for a paycheck. In fact, this is a great chance to leave a lasting impression in the United States. I am fighting against a boxer who is very well known in the United States, and I want to win more than ever. I will give him hell in the ring. Every boxer's dream is to fight in the MGM arena, and I have had that dream as well. I am very excited and extremely honored for the opportunity to be one of the stars that night. I asked Dan what he knows about Mikey Garcia as a fighter, and if he's going to change anything in his preparation for his first title defense. I know Mikey. He hits hard, and he has good timing but not so much when it comes to his defense. It will be an interesting fight. Now, I can't really say if I would change anything. It all depends on the situation inside the ring. No one can know for sure what would be the right thing to do. Tactic is applied with respect to the situation inside the ring. Maybe he will fight up front. Maybe he decides to fight from a distance. My job is to find a way through to his head. I also asked him to give some details on how his training camp is going. I wouldn't talk much about how I'm preparing. I'm training hard. My sparring is hard. I have my training sessions in one of the best boxing clubs in Long Beach, working with Slobodan Angelica and Jose Benavides. Years. I asked him if he thinks if Garcia is stepping up too fast in competition, fighting against some boxer of his quality. And I also asked him how important does he think that his inactivity will be for this fight. How significant will it be that he has not had a fight in three years remains to be seen. Garcia is a long-standing and well-known boxing family. Whether this was a mistake or not should be left for them to decide. The only important thing for me to is hurt him as much as possible inside the ring. Lastly, with the fight just weeks away, I simply asked Dayan if he'd like to give a message for the fans who are anticipating this fight and if he has a personal message for Mikey Garcia. And he confidently replied, My message to the fans is that they will enjoy the fight and see Garcia's first defeat on January 28th. My message to Garcia it's for him to know that I will give him hell inside the ring. I am not afraid of him, and I am not one of those who will suck him to his stature and awe. He will definitely get to feel that on January 28th, and he better hit as hard as he can, because I am going all the way.